The Vice Chancellor of the Harare Institute of Technology, Professor Engineer Quentin Kanhu Kamwe, has thrown his full support behind Maxwell Chikambutso's inventions, particularly the recent launch of Scythe Technology's Microsonic Energy device. During the launch event, the VC emphasized that the Harar Institute of Technology is responsible for validating Maxwell's designs and confirmed that the Institute has already conducted its own validation process. This raises an important question. If the technology is later proven not to work by others, will the institution lose credibility for backing it? It also highlights a broader issue. Why do Western nations often dismiss validations done by African institutions unless they are confirmed by their own experts? This skepticism reflects a deeper bias that undermines the credibility of African innovation on the global stage. The Institute of Technology is satisfied with our relationship with science technologies. Pilot testing and validation of inventions amongst other obligations. Uh, my task is very easy today, much as I am a keynote speaker, but I've also come a long way uh, with Max. I think after hearing of his uh, innovations that were disruptive and defying uh, the laws of physics, I made it a point that I visited him. And it led me to his factory and laboratory. And I was as disturbed confused as most of the comments that we are seeing today on social media, which regrettably lack any information and are not factual about what is on the ground. I've touched and experienced the phenomenal unbelievable power that is coming out of the microsonic energy technology. I want to acknowledge the dignitaries that are here, uh, some that are viewing this um, on social media, online, I also want to acknowledge the CEO and um, Safe Holdings uh, Technologies Board and uh, the key men driving these technologies, Maxwell uh, Chukumbuto. Ladies and gentlemen, distinguished guests, innovators, I know there are innovators in this room, industry leaders, members of the 4th Estate who are here present, friends and technology, friends of technology, good evening to all of you. It is indeed a privilege and an honor to stand before you today at this remarkable occasion at the launch of Safe Technologies groundbreaking microsonic energy technology. We gather here not only to celebrate a technological milestone, but to witness the dawn of a new chapter in energy innovation, born and developed right here on the African soil. <laughs> innovation has always been the driving force behind humanity's progress, as the CEO has rightfully underlined. As we confront the mounting challenges of energy scarcity, environmental degradation and economic inequality, technology offers a beacon of hope. Today the world stands at the intersection of technological advancement and sustainability imperatives. Clean and efficient energy solutions are no longer optional, they are critical.
This microsonic energy technology development by Seth Technologies promises to address these global concerns by offering efficient, self-sustaining, and clean energy alternatives. What makes today even more significant is that this breakthrough has been pioneered by one of your own. Maxwell Sangulani Chikumbuzo. Maxwell is a testament to the boundless ingenuity that resides within our continent. His work serves as an inspiration not only to Zimbabwe, but to the entire African continent. For far too long, Africa has been a consumer rather than a producer of technological advancement. Science Technologies is changing that narrative. This launch symbolizes a shift towards homegrown solutions designed to meet global challenges. Supporting local innovators like Maxwell is not just a moral imperative, it is a strategic necessity for our development and competitiveness on the global stage. The microsonic energy device has the potential to revolutionize how we generate and use energy. Imagine a future where industries, homes and transport systems are powered by clean, self-sustaining energy sources. This technology promises to reduce dependence on fossil fuels and transforms industrial applications by providing energy solutions that are efficient, scalable, and sustainable. The implications for sectors such as manufacturing, transportation, and telecommunications are immense. We are on the brink of a cleaner, more energy secure future. As Zimbabwe pursues its national development strategy and aligns with international environmental agreements, Safe Technologies stands as a crucial pioneer in achieving these goals. The global push for net zero emissions and sustainable energy solutions makes innovations like the microsonic energy device invaluable. SAFE's efforts demonstrate that Zimbabwe is not just participating in these global conversations, but is also leading in it. However, for innovation to thrive, collaboration is essential. And safe technologies is also calling upon the private sector, research institutions, and academic bodies to partner with it. By working together, we can accelerate the commercialization of this technology, create local manufacturing opportunities, as well as global, and foster an environment of technological excellence. As one of the universities in this country, Harare Institute of Technology is satisfied with our relationship with science technologies, which include acting as 